Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the other video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to upload and download the files from the Postman. Okay, by using the API endpoints, REST API endpoints. Okay, so this is a dummy website uh, where you can go and you can practice with file download and upload. So here you can see this is a file upload. Okay, so when you go here and you can select some file and you can upload them. Okay, I'm going to select one PDF and when I click on upload, it is coming as a uploaded. Okay, so now let's go back here. So what is happening? So just go to the inspect and go to the network tools. Okay. So now I'm going to, I mean, the file is already uploaded here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select one more time. Okay, I'm selecting the image file, PNG file. Okay. The moment when I click on the upload button, here you can see one call is going. Okay, by the name of upload. So this is not an endpoint. Actually, this is a URL, but still you can copy this. Okay, and you can go to the postman. So I'm just going to open on request. So what is this method? This method is a post method. Why? Because we are sending some input. We are uploading the file as an input. You can see this going as a post and we are getting as a 200 OK response. Okay. If you go to the preview, okay, whatever the response that you are getting here, the same thing you are getting here. But if you want to, I mean, uh, in, in normal uh, REST API, we will send a JSON file as a payload, right? So here, if you look at this payload, the payload is going as a multi-part form data, okay? So now I have copied this URL. So, I mean, the endpoint. So this is not an endpoint, this is a URL. So let's go to the body. Under here, you have to select the form data, okay? So in the form data, you have to provide some key like file or something. So when you click on here, you will get the, it's a text or file format. So the moment when you select as a file, so now you can upload some file. Okay, I'm going to upload the image file. The moment when I click on the send button, so it has to, okay. Okay, it will throw, okay, it should be the post method. So let me change it to the post. You can see here also we are getting it's a 200, but we are not able to see the response. Okay, why? Because this is a not end point. This is not an end point. This is a URL. Okay, so similarly, you can go for a download also. So here you can see the file download option. Okay, so when you scroll down, you can see file download. Okay. So let me clear the network logs and just click on the sample page. Okay. So this is a file which you got downloaded. So now if you go to the URL, this is a get method. Okay, your file upload is a post method, and your file download is a just a retry. Right. So that's the reason this is a get method. Okay. So here we are just getting 200. This is coming as a, some encoded, decoded format value. Okay, so maybe base 64 format is supported in the postman. That's the reason we are getting like this. So if at all, if you want to practice this, okay, so what you can do like, uh, so we can create our own API by using this website. I mean, uh, this, this instruction, but this article. So this guy Ranjiv Singh is created. So this is for Spring Boot file upload download REST API example. Okay, you can create your own application by using this uh, Spring Boot framework for the file upload download of the REST API. And this is how the application look. It will run on your local host. Okay, this is for file upload and this is for multiple file upload. So by following this article, you can create your own project in your computer and you can implement this, okay, which I have already done in my computer. Okay, and the repository, my repository also available in this particular location. So I will share all the details in the description of the video. You can you can just clone this repository and you can use this command to execute your project. Okay, so this is what... So what, what is the purpose of we are creating this? Because we want to experiment the file upload download as a real time experience, okay? So this is a command that I have to run. So I'm just copying the command. So I have already created an application in my Eclipse, okay? So I'm just pasting this command to start my application. So this is application, I mean, this is a project. So there are some, I mean, application property file where you can define what should be the maximum size of the file upload and what is the uh, location that you want to store your file and all you can define here, okay? So after running this down, make sure you have Maven installed your computer, okay? This is a project. And now here you can see the project is started, okay? And you can see it is started the file demo application, which is my project name, it is started. So now what I have to do, I have to go to my local host 8080 where my application is hosted, okay? So this is what they also mentioned. You can see they are also running in the 8080. If you want to change the port also, you can change. 
So for that, we have to go to the code and we have to do the configuration on the control level level. Okay. So now let's go to here. This is for single file upload. Okay. So let's open the inspect tool. So I'm selecting some file here. Okay. So I'm selecting the image file and go to the network tab. Just click on the submit button. Okay. You can see the file upload is success. Okay. So this is my endpoint. Okay. I'm just copying this endpoint going to the back postman. And this is a post method. Okay. So now where is my body is in it? Okay. So body is nothing, your payload. Okay. And it is going as a form data and the file is a keyword and your binary is a file. Okay. So why this is going as a file in the sense? So in the file controller, I have, I mean, uh, as per the project, we have defined as the query parameter as a file for the single upload. For the multiple file upload, it is a file. Okay. So that's the reason the postman I have selected as, I mean, uh, we have to select the key as file. Okay. So when you scroll down here, I mean, you can see just option. Oh, sorry. Not in the query parameter. You have to go to the body, form data. And here you have the key as a file. Okay. So here you can see the text or file upload option. Okay. Now I'm going to select the file. When you select the file, you can see the select file button will come. So now I'm going to send this PDF. Okay. So the moment when I send this, now you can see the response is coming as a 200. And this is my response. My file name is uh, PDF doc dot PDF. And this is a download URL. Okay. So how do I confirm this file is successfully uploaded to my server or not? Okay. So even though it is coming as a 200, okay, which is sign up success, but still, so this application property, right? This is what I have defined my upload directory. Okay. So this is a location, which is my in the upload folder here. So just refresh this folder. Okay. So here you can see the file is uploaded. Okay, so let me delete this file and do it again. Okay, so let me go to the website and I'm going to select on PDF file now. Okay, I'm doing the submit button. Okay, now the file is uploaded. So let's go to the project, just refresh the screen. So you can see the PDF is uploaded under this particular directory. Okay. Now, if I want to retrieve this document, this is a download URI that they have given. Okay, that is also coming in the part of response because in the code itself, we have defined these things. Okay, for, this is for the file upload method. Okay, we are getting the file name, we are getting the download URI, and we are getting the content type of the file, and we are getting the size. So these all three parameters coming in the response also. Okay, so the moment when I click on this one, it will, so the file download is a get method. We are just going to retrieve the data, read the data. So when I click on the send button, the entire PDF will be loaded here. Okay, you can see this is a PDF. This is a file which I have uploaded. So now there is one more thing where you can do the multiple file upload also. Okay, so this is for single upload. So now I want to upload multiple files. So for example, I'm selecting these two files. Okay. And when I click on the submit button, you can see it is going as a multiple file upload API endpoint. So let me copy this and go to okay. This is a post method. So here also I want to send the body in the data of form data. Okay, in the form data, what is the query parameter we have? I mean, as per project, it is a files. Okay. So in, in single file, it is a file. Here it is coming as a files. Okay. And here I have to define this one as a file. Okay, so now I can upload the multiple files. So I'm going to select image file as PDF. You can, you can upload the JSON file also. Okay, so let's upload the JSON, these two files, one image and one JSON file. Okay, the moment when I click on this one, so now it will come to download URL because we have uploaded the two files. Okay, this is for the JSON input and this is for the image. So let's go to the project, confirm these two files are got uploaded. You can see the JSON also uploaded, the image file also uploaded. Okay. So now when I go to this download URI, which is a get method to retrieve the file is uploaded or not. Okay, now if I send this one, so what are the JSON file that you have uploaded? This is what the file I have uploaded. Okay, so if you go to the preview, you can see the same. And if you go to the raw also, you can see the same. Okay, so the entire JSON file is being loaded here. Okay, this is how we have to do the file upload download also. So now if you want to do some kind of like a performance testing, Okay, it is not recommended, but still, if you want to do that, what you can do now, you can have it this as a collection and you can run for multiple iterations. Okay, which will, for example, if you run the 100 times, okay, 100 times your, your application is able to upload your files. Okay, 
So kind of performance of, I mean, performance testing also you can do, but that is not admitted because we have a dedicated tool like a JMeter or K6 uh, load runner, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So this is what the file upload, download. So there are some other options. So when you go for this file, right? So either of using this form data, you can directly use the binary also. Okay, so let me try the binary here. So in the binary also, you can see select file has come. Okay, you can select some PDF and you can send this. This will also work. Okay, it is based on the configuration how they have defined. Okay, this is not working for this case because they have used as a form data. Okay, for this case also, they are using as a form data. Sometimes you will use this binary also. So for example, if you go to uh, any website, so here, uh, if you want to change your profile picture, right? So the profile picture is nothing. It is kind of like a file upload, right? So maybe you can try for this. I think this will go as a binary. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't want to change the profile picture now. Let, uh, Okay, you can you can try. Okay, any anything like a Facebook or anything. If you are uploading a file, let's say that is going as a binary or form data. Okay, so that's all about this video of how how we can upload the files and downloads to the REST API through the Postman. Okay, thank you guys.